Okay, this is my Tweed Classic 30, and uh, I got the uh, the these um, silicone O-rings. I got them uh, off of eBay. They're like five bucks, and they're supposed to help keep the tubes from rattling. They kind of isolate the glass from shaking, I guess. So <laughs> hopefully it'll uh, it'll work. I mean. I don't hear anything, so maybe they do. I don't know. Um, so, it's got the stock speaker. But what I'm going to do is I'm taking a... Uh, I'm going to add a, a 110 outlet inside the cabinet. And uh, this will allow me more outlets to where the amp is, not only for um, any a pedal board or anything like that. But most importantly, I bought I bought this on eBay. It's just a little uh, um, 110 volt, 120 volt computer cooling fan. And what I'm going to do because these amps get really hot, and I and I know a lot of people say, well, you know, I don't never had any problems. Uh, these chassis get so hot that you you can just barely touch them. And to me, heat and electronics. Just they're not a good match together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount, I'm going to mount this uh, fan in such a way that it's going to blow air over the tubes and keep them cool and keep the whole chassis cool, and hopefully make a super reliable amplifier even more reliable because the components will be kept cooler. So this is what I'm going to do. Okay. I've taken out the chassis, which is, there's two screws here, two screws here, and two screws on either side, two there, and two there. And then you can just pull the chassis out straight, but be careful, do not stick your fingers down in here, you got some pretty big capacitors. These things will kill you if you get if you day discharge. Even though you're unplugged, the amp is not plugged in. They store a charge. You touch those things, it could kill you. All right, so I, I just held it right here in the front, and I just pulled it straight out. Now I didn't, I didn't want to take out the reverb tank, which is down in the bottom, and that wire is still connected here, so I can't pull the chassis all the way out. So I just got it like here. Then I took the with a 3 8 nut driver I took out this four nuts one there and right there up in there in the four corners and pulled the speaker out just so I can get room so I could drill over here and mount the outlet box okay okay I've got one screw in the outlet right now and what I used was uh, little drywall screws and I got some small washers because I wanted to make sure when the screw was through here that the tip of the screw didn't stick out past here so when that's inside the box it'll be just under the surface out here you don't want any screws to come through the the tolex or the you know the tweed finish so that's what I did I just I put some enough washers I checked it first so that when it's in here and it's inside the metal box. The metal box will push it back about a sixteenth of an inch. And that tip, see that the tip won't come through. Alright? And that's what I'm doing now. So I'm just, and because this is not, I think it, this is just like a, I forget what they call it, but it's just uh, wood chips and glue, that type of wood. It's not real, it's not plywood. And, uh, I started uh, the holes for the screws with my little uh, Dremel tool right here with just a real small drill and you want to make sure that the drill size the drill size is not going to take out so much wood that the threads of the screw won't hold anything so it's got to be a small drill and I only go in a little ways I don't go the full length of the screw I just get enough to just so the, th the 
the teeth of the screw will actually grab some wood and pull it in. Okay? So I got one in now, and I'm going to mark the other three holes, put the screws in there, and that'll be all set. Now here, I ran the ground wire to the chassis. It goes to there. And it's just under one of the screws that holds it to the cabinet. And now I'm just, now all I gotta do now is put the two screws to hold that cover on with the outlets. And uh, the amplifier will plug into one. My fan will plug into a second one. And I have two more outlets here at the, hit the, at the uh, where the amplifier is. Okay. Now there's the box mounted. Okay, Screw, all the screws are in, it's solid, it's not going nowhere. This core cord here will just store in the bottom with the amplifier cord. And what I can do is maybe put some, uh, some nylon ties or something around the amplifier power cord so it's not loose, it's, you're basically looping it around, shortening it up so it won't be in the way and just plug that in there. Now all I got to do now is I'll put the speaker in and uh, slide the chassis back in and uh, make a mount for the uh, for the fan. I th I'm going to make a removable mount. I was going to, I was thinking on just you know cutting a hole in here and mounting the fan here and then putting a, a screen on the outside so it will it draw air from the outside and then blow it across the tubes but I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have it make a, a mount That'll just, it'll just slip over the back side here. And that way I can just take it off and put it inside the amp when I'm done. Alright, so uh, let me put the speaker in, get the chassis in, and we show you what that looks like. Okay, now the box is in. The power cord for the amplifier is coiled back and forth in here and plugged into one. And that gives me three more outlets. And then this outlet, this length of uh, cord here, is what I'll use to plug the amp in. Now this is, this is not, um, you can't use this to power the whole PA, obviously. You're limited to uh, the outlet that uh, this box is plugged in. I mean, if it's only 20 amps here, you're not going to run 40 amps worth of equipment through this box. You'll be blowing fuses or circuit breakers or whatever. But this is only for... Uh, small stuff. Like I say, I'll right from here I can put in a, a power strip and then I can plug in uh, a floor pedal board or uh, you know, like I say, I'm going to use it for my fan. It's going to sit here, keep the amp cool when it's running. It's just, it's just a way to get just a little bit more power to where the amplifier is. So, that's what I've got so far. Now I'm going to work on the, uh, the frame for the fan. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bracket to hold the fan that's just going to slip down and be held by this lower backboard. So what I did was from the top of the backboard to the inside was it was right around three and a, three and a half inches. So what I did was I went from the end up three and an eighth just to give a little bit of clearance on the bottom stuck it in the vise and bend it now that's what I'm going to do here I went from there the end up to three and an eighth see the little mark and now I'm going to bend it bend it back and get this, some of this right here. bend it back and I'll try to get it the same as the other one. You can always bend it back again. So you can see I got it this way. It comes like that. And I got it bent this way like that. Now oh, well, here's a trick that I use a lot. I use angle iron when I'm bending a lot of sheet metal or something wider than the vise. So I use two pieces of angle iron. And what I'm using for a bracket is those um, you know those like political signs or houses for sale they got this metal and they bent and then they got the cardboard 
We've got the cardboard in here. Well, this is just an old one that has long, the sign has long since died, but I'm going to utilize the metal in it to make a bracket. Now, there's the two bends. This one has to be bent a little bit more. They got to be parallel. They got to be the same. So I'm going to bend this one a little bit more, and then we're going to try to bend it so that there'll be a, a U-shaped piece going right down and hold it up, and then we'll mount the fan to that. So that way there I can just take the fan and stick it in there. And we'll put a plug, a removable plug. We'll just be able to unplug it, stick it. Boom. Done. At least that's the plan. Okay. Now I bent it right around the, this piece of angle iron, so I got a, a 90 degree going down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend this another another 90 degrees this way. Okay. Watch this. Okay. Now if I'm going to bend this down another 90 degrees, you can see that this piece here, as it swings down, is going to hit this. So this is what I did. Take this. And I'll turn it this way. Okay. Like that. I'm doing this with. Alright, and then I'll tighten the vice up here. Now I've got it clamped just to the right of this piece. So as it folds this way, now I got clearance. See, so I just bend it this way. this up so I can see what I'm looking at. So now I got now I got the U-shaped piece. Okay. Let me see how that's gonna it's gonna slide in there. Alright. Now I gotta come out I gotta come back out again. So this is gonna be That's, I don't know how to explain it here. This is going to kind of sit like that. And now i got to bend it back out and up to hold the fan. Okay. All right, now I positioned it so I could get another bend in here. Okay. And let me set this down. Take this out. just mount the fan right here. So far so good. I mean it may not keep it. This is just just something. I mean you know just something here. If it, if it vibrates a lot or something I'll have to you know modify it. Maybe I'll put little o-rings on here to rubber mount it so it won't I won't hear any vibration when you're playing. But it was just an idea. I may have to end up 
putting a hard bracket it's just screwed right to here and you know but for now I'm just uh, just trying to get something while I'm just messing around here at the house just to keep the amp cool so we'll see what happens okay there it is the fan is in and uh, just uh, it just slides right off of that so I'll just put it on there it doesn't bounce and it blow it'll blow more than enough air on it the only thing I got to do now is uh, plug in the uh, guitar and see if the fan makes any noise coming through the amplifier hopefully it won't but if it does well then I don't know then I gotta come up with something else but this is what I got so far cool okay uh, the amps plugged in guitar is hooked up and uh, the fan is on down in the back you can hear a little bit of noise from the fan but you don't hear nothing it's uh, it's pretty quiet through the uh, let me turn it up here let me set this camera down on the tripod here so I can pick up the guitar on the uh, single coil which would be the noisiest I'll put it in the back for the Seymour Duncan So I guess that's uh, it'll work. Cool. Mm -hmm. 